Hello everyone. This is Namrata. In today's session, we will be discussing about the Salesforce dashboards. In our previous sessions, we have covered various topics which are related to the reports. I would request you all to please go through those um, videos um, uh, sessions where we have discussed many topics related to reports. How you can go ahead and subscribe your reports and different types of uh, reports which you can create in our Salesforce. Today, we'll talk about uh, how you can create a dashboard component in the Salesforce. So we have uh, briefly talk, talked about what is a dashboard. Dashboard is nothing but a visual representation, pictorial representation of your um, uh, data. And the relationship between a dashboard component and report is uh, one on one. That is for each of the dashboard component, there is always a single source of uh, report. So we'll see uh, how to create a dashboard in the Salesforce. Let us log in into our Salesforce uh, DevOps and I open my Lightning Service Console application and um, I have this dashboard um, tab added to the navigation menu. So from the drop down from the navigation menu, click on dashboards. And on the right hand side, you see new folder. So as a best practice, what we'll do is we'll create a new folder for our dashboard. I will name the folder as new dashboard. Service, we'll say it as service cloud dashboard. And then the unique name gets displayed automatically and click on save. So we have our folder created for our dashboard. So once the folder is created, let us now start create a new dashboard. So we will give the name as service cloud dashboard and the description service cloud then save it in the folder which we have created which is service cloud dashboard and the select folder so and click on create so we have the service cloud dashboard um, uh, present and we just have to go ahead and add the components and do a couple of configuration stuff so here each component has one source report. So the components are nothing but these are the blocks of a dashboard. Now, when you click on this plus icon, which you see it on the right hand side, you have this, um, when you click on it, it will ask me to choose the report that is choose it from the source uh, report. So whatever the reports that we have created in our previous sessions, wherein we have created few reports like all cases which are open, all high priority cases and the cases which are closed. Closed. So based upon whatever the reports that you have created and how you want your dashboard to look like, you have to select that specific source report. So for me, the initial component I would like to display as all open, all um, open cases. So I'm selecting this all cases. So from the reports you can go here or from the folders you can on the left hand side click on all folders we have created this sfdc one stop one folder and in this folder you have all of your cases so you can click on this all cases and select so as soon as you click on the select that particular source report gets selected and that, and it's get added to our dashboard component and this dashboard component can be of different types like you can display display uh, the display it in chart format you can display it in gauge format you can display it in metrics you can display it in table a lot of the different uh, uh, stuff so here you see you can see it as horizontal bar chart vertical bar chart this is the um, stacked bar then you have different uh, stacked bar vertical then you have this line chart and likewise, um, there are different components, um, different types of dashboards that you can select. So based upon your business requirement, you have to select which particular dashboard component, which but uh, how you would like to represent your data. So for us, we would like to show the cases which are open in our organization. So for me, the horizontal bar chart or the vertical bar chart Vertical bar chart suits very well for that specific requirement. So I'm choosing this vertical bar chart. And here it is on the X axis, whatever you have chosen in your report, it is showing and Y axis is the record count. What is the display units? 
you will there are a lot of things whether you would want to short a number you would want it to be displayed in hundreds thousands all of this is is defined as a display unit and you would want to go ahead and define something minimum maximum or you would like to have it automatically and then you would like to have it by this sort by open date or record type how many rows you would like to display this and all is um, what is the title all cases so let's keep it like this then on the subtitle also what you can do is you can go ahead and copy it and paste it over here footer also all cases and then you can choose whether you would like to have it the component theme as a light component or as a dark component so this is how you can go ahead and create or add a component click on add i am adding this component here now let's add another component uh, i would like the next component to be displayed as all opened um, uh, cases so i am selecting that specific report and even i would want this to be as a vertical bar chart this is horizontal this is vertical and i would like to keep all of these as it is closed cases let's give the name as closed cases footer name also let's give the same thing and choose the dark theme and click on add here you can have this particular component next to drag and drop this particular component next to the open cases and i would want another component to be added what is that component once we have one uh, one component as all cases second component as closed cases now i would also like to have all high cases which are open in our org and here let us choose the donut so when you choose this um, a donut it is when whenever you have some multiple groupings and um, we would like to show some proportionate we will use this um, a donut chart and um, in our case um, we would like to see in in a month how many cases were opened as um, high how many cases and, and as a total how many cases opened as high in an organization so i am choosing the donut chart if you want to show the percentage you can show the percentage here i don't want them to be combined into small groups and then high cases i'm giving the name as high cases high cases you would want the agent to be right or bottom right looks good then i would like to have a dark theme so if at all it all depends upon uh, your business use case how you would like to display your uh, dashboards according to that you have to choose which particular component or which particular chart you would like to display whether you would like to display whether you would like to use the horizontal or you would like to display vertical you would like to see the metric chart um all of these have a different significance uh, and based upon um, the requirement you just have to choose uh, that specific uh, chart so from now let's choose donut and let's add it over here and let me go to the gear component gear icon which is which you see it on the right hand side and see what all different configuration settings or dashboard properties we can make so here you see this as you are giving the name as service cloud dashboard you are saving it in the specific folder then you would like to view this dashboard as myself you would like to view the dashboard as another person or you would like to view the dashboard as the dashboard uh, viewer dashboard if you want to give it as another person it will ask us it will ask us to give the name of that specific person for which you on you know you would like to view the specific dashboard or the person the dashboard viewer itself let the dashboard viewer choose whom they view the dashboard so if i am viewing the specific dashboard the dashboard will display those um, uh, reports or those data or the records that i have access to so that is how you can choose whether you be whether you would want to view the dashboard as myself or another person or the dashboard viewer 
then you can also select which specific um, the dashboard grid size whether you are looking out for the 12 components or the nine components so let's select the nine component and you are you would want the dashboard as dark theme and you can choose any of these whichever you looks good to you you can choose that and you can click on save when you choose as a nine you see uh, the entire palette is getting changed and you can add this and what you can do is you can expand this you can add this here you can play around with this based upon how which one you feel it is better you can uh, play around in that um way and you can save it so i am saving my dashboard as a service cloud uh, dashboard component so click on done let's see how our dashboard will looks like so this is how the dashboard is will look so whenever somebody opens this service cloud dashboard and uh, since i logged in as myself you are, it will show at the top of that you are viewing as namrata kadiyala and uh, all the details will be shown up and if you want to refresh the dashboards yeah you can cannot refresh your dashboards in a once in a minute and uh, let's click on edit there is one more important uh, feature that is provided that is um, filter here you see this filter you can filter it do some filtration on your dashboard so you can choose which particular field you would like to do some filtration suppose i would like to do the filtration based upon the open date i am choosing the open date on the filter values click on add filter so for me how i want to view the filter is uh, this uh, this quarter how many cases were raised last quarter how many cases were raised likewise i would like to dif uh, i would like to have two different uh, date components so here what i'm choosing i'm choosing relative here it is clearly giving giving us uh, some description enter a relative date like yesterday last week next next fixed fiscal year or next 30 days so what i'm doing i would want as this quarter click on apply i would like to add one more choose add relative last quarter click on save and add or oh, the spelling is incorrect last quarter come on yep and click on save let's add it and let's see where you will see that when you click on save on the top left hand side you will see the filter components get added the open date then you can easily do the filtration whether you would want the dashboard to be i would want all the open cases which got opened this quarter or um, you would want the cases which are open the last quarter since let's see yeah you can see right there are around uh, 27 cases which got open in the month of uh, may which is last quarter so likewise you can play around with this dashboards and um, you can do a lot of configurations you can create multiple dashboards uh, components um, based upon the configurations the dashboard properties whether you would want to 12 components or nine components you can choose that grid size and accordingly you can display uh, create a dashboard and you can show it to your uh, business and build the dashboards according to your business um, requirement and this particular dashboard is something which you can subscribe as well so let's go to edit okay because i have this open date i cannot subscribe it click on done and you can add this particular uh, dashboard uh, component uh, to your home page as well so that is something which you can easily do using your lightning um, home page um, and you can go ahead and add this dashboard component to that specific uh, page now let's see how you can subscribe a dashboards you can take any of the existing dashboard 
let's uh, go to one of the uh, existing dashboard which i have created i created this dashboard which has same thing and yeah you should be able to see the subscribe button yeah maybe something is wrong okay let's take a look into the same thing yeah you see you have a subscribe which means you can subscribe the same dashboard how you have this how you have subscribed it uh, as for, for the reports you can subscribe the dashboards as well when you click on subscribe it will ask us the frequency like daily weekly monthly when do you want 3 pm and click on save so every day every week 3 pm this dashboard will be set to the set of users okay so this is what we have for today's session i think as a whole we have covered lot of things um, comprehensively in uh, related to reports and dashboards and lightning we have covered uh, many stuff related to the reports and dashboards and um, i hope uh, this session will provide some guidance to some of you to get started uh, please provide your valuable feedback if you liked our videos and if you have any questions please do let us know if you have any questions um until i come up with another topic um, signing off for the day have a good rest of your day and thank you all for watching our videos bye bye